I'm thankful for the fact that I can experience hurt, but I don't have to live in hurt. hurt. <laughs> What's poppin', party people? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, D, and if you're new here, welcome. I would like to formally welcome you and invite you into this space because this is actually new for me. I like to believe that this space that I've created is random but wholesome and I never really know what the direction is going to be. I like to keep my creativity open and explore different things. It is currently 3.33 a.m. So I like to think that everything is truly <laughs> guided. It's just guided. It's guided in the way that it's supposed to go and supposed to be. Yeah, this is a first. So even if you are familiar with my older content, if you watched my last video, if you know me personally, this is just new for me. I wanted to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And that is kind of just to talk, just because I know that this will reach someone when it's supposed to reach that someone. With actual videos, I find myself, like I've said before, I try to assure that I have everything done correctly. My perfectionism really does kind of kick in the lighting, the clothes, the this, the that. All that has to be well thought out on top of what I want to say and how I want to present myself. And that will continue to be important. But this particular kind of video will be one amongst many that I will now dive into. I did have a desire years ago that I also wanted to have like a podcast or a segment that if you look on older videos, I've titled Meet With D. And those are the more intimate, sit down, let's talk about it and let's, let's grow together. Again, wanting it to look a certain kind of way, wanting certain equipment, you know, the scheduling, all these different things that I could not commit to. I didn't want to commit to. I wouldn't be able to even commit to with the time and what I've been going through. I had to take a couple steps back and let it flow naturally. So here we are with it. But anyway, the title of this video, as you can see, as you can read, and the most important thing I wanted to tap into and touch on is it's okay to not be okay. I've had so many and I have so many videos and ideas that have been sitting in a book for close to three years, <laughs> sadly enough. I've had so many thoughts and so many feelings and expressions and emotions and all types of things that I've been either thinking or feeling or enduring that I wanted to share in hopes that it could help someone or we can relate, be that safe space for people to know that they're not alone. And that is why this is new for me and is true to me and will be the start of something beautiful. I know it because I normally have a script of some sort. I normally have a thought of where I'm going to go with these videos and my words. And as you can tell, I don't right now. It's definitely freestyle and it's, it's a meaning behind it all. So just, just wait it out with me and Let's flow together. Let's go together. So again, one of many ideas, one of many feelings, one of many knowings. And um, I am not okay. But I know it's okay to not be okay. I've always known it's okay to not be okay. I've always reassured myself that some days you're going to be okay and some days you're not going to be okay. That is just the balance of life, the balance of feelings, the ebbs and the flows. 
But I know someone else out there probably doesn't really feel and hasn't been assured and needs to be affirmed in this way. And I would like to be that voice. I would like to be that person for you to truly know and believe that it's okay to not be okay. And if you have the time, let me share with you those moments or that moment for me when I knew it was okay to not be okay. And I acknowledged that and I sat in that and I felt those things. And then lo and behold, time goes by. I feel better. And even if I find myself slipping back into this feeling of I don't feel 100%, I at least just feel better knowing that I acknowledge that feeling when I didn't feel good. You feel me? Okay, let's just, let's take a couple steps back. So in this year alone, 2022, 2022, sorry, I hate using 2022, 2022, it has been a roller coaster for my feelings alone. <laughs> Mentally, I have been able to understand, right? I've been able to just put logic behind the things that have come up and that I have had to go through and I've had to, you know, kind of get get through to then get over. But emotionally, I'm a very emotional person, very empathic person. So if it hasn't been my own feelings, it's been feelings of those people around me that have overwhelmed me to the point where some days it has crippled me. Some days I just don't. Most days I just don't feel like it. And I always felt like in the past, at some point we'll unpack that. But in the past, I didn't have the space. I didn't have the time to not be okay. And in the past, I was told that I was okay, even when I knew I wasn't. You'll be okay, even when I felt like, that's that's great, but right now I don't feel okay, you know? Having my feelings invalidated just to make it a little less uncomfortable for the next person. And this year, it was it was most definitely no more of that. There were a lot of traumatic events that have occurred around me, to me, um, that were not good, right? And I had to face myself and remind myself that I'm not going to stay here and dwell in these feelings. But I wanted to acknowledge that they were not okay. The moments, the, the feelings, the things that had transpired weren't okay. didn't feel good to me. I didn't feel good about it. I wasn't okay with it. And that's okay. I've expressed to more than one person that I have been grieving. I have been shedding and transforming in a very transformative space. And I've been wearing black like nobody's business. I've worn black a lot of the time so I can not feel seen. I've worn black to kind of wash out the light. I've worn black to get more in touch with those dark emotions, those dark feelings. I've worn black to embrace the darkness. And another story for another time, I've been afraid of the dark my entire life. I'm currently sitting in the dark. <laughs> so we're definitely, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, right? But yeah, I, I've expressed that I have been grieving. I've been 
shedding, transforming, and mourning certain parts of myself, certain relationships that I've had, certain partnerships that I've had, certain positions that I've had, certain feelings that I had. And in doing that, it's been sad. It's been hurtful. It's been stressful sometimes. It's been uncomfortable. I wanted to emphasize just the hurt and the pain and the sadness that I've been feeling and waking up grateful, truly grateful, but also not okay. Just not really feeling at peace. Just not really feeling like I understand what's going on. And you may not need to understand it, but a person like me needs to understand it. (laughs) That's my biggest, biggest problem sometimes. My biggest flex could be that I'm so understanding, but my biggest problem is that I want to understand everything, right? You can be understanding to be relatable, to be empathetic, to be able to connect, but A lot of the time, things will not be revealed to you because you don't have to understand the process. You just have to trust the process. And I have trust issues. Valid reasons. We'll touch on that another time. But I have trust issues. So with trust issues comes not feeling safe. It comes with fear. It comes with anxiety. It comes with upset. And again not feeling okay, the uneasiness of it all, to more person, to, to, how am I trying to say this, but it can't come out, to more than one person, I, I, I don't want to say it that way, but I just have to say it the proper way, I guess, I've acknowledged that, I've been grieving and mourning, and in doing that, it's not always pretty, you know, it's, it's not a, a good feeling, it's, it's, really, really uncomfortable, but I know that the more I push and just speaking up, just, just, just doing this right now when I know I'm not okay, but speaking my truth, speaking the truth will get me to a place where I will be okay. And I won't feel like this forever. And you won't feel like this forever. We can't. You want to know why? Because it's that balance thing that I mentioned a little bit earlier about, you know, you have, damn, I forgot what I said earlier. (laughs) I really tried to make, I tried to make a connection and it just didn't connect. But that's the beauty in all of this. And other videos it will definitely it'll have more structure to it because I am someone that structure does help me it keeps me keeps me grounded a little bit so I don't float too much of my thoughts and get lost in my thoughts too much but with this one it's 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 nothing more than me wanting to give you that virtual hug give you that love be that companion at this time to help you, remind you that it's okay to not be okay. But get to a place, work to a place where you feel okay and you work at staying okay. And then you get to a place where you get beyond okay and you feel good. Not just okay, you feel good. You feel well. And then you get beyond that and you feel great. And it's a genuine feeling. You're not putting that on both literally and figuratively. You really, really feel it. There's a certain protection I feel when I wear black. It's not negative to me. It gives me that protection as I'm going through this transformative period. And that's something that I also wanted to give to you, whoever's listening, that You are protected. You are not without. You may feel emptiness. You may feel 
unworthiness. You may feel fear. You may feel sadness. You may feel pain. You may feel hurt. But you are not those things. You will not remain those things. Cliche as it sounds, trust me, I know I hate to hear it myself, but this too shall pass. In doing this, something totally new to me, new to my channel, and and just following what feels okay, this feels okay. This feels like it's a step in a direction for me to not always be so hard on myself for me to know that I'm not feeling totally okay, but whatever I can do, whatever I can give is enough. And this is enough for me right now. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to share. The less I've been connecting with people and the more I've been connecting with God, I know that I am being divinely guided to share this, do this, be in this moment, and that's okay. That went a lot of places, a lot of places that will have its own place and space on this channel. So if you've gotten this far, thank you for listening. I love you for listening. Subscribe if you haven't. The many different things that I said without saying kind of rambled into starting but could not finish is only because they will have its own space for me to elaborate further. And I think those will help. I hope this helped by any means. Again, no direction, just protection and taking it as it comes. But just know for the umpteen time, it's okay to not be okay. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Don't stay there. Feel the feelings. Cry it out. Write it out. Wait it out. We're going to be straight. We're going to be greater than great. And um, just pray. That's really and truly what I can say to wrap this up with a bow before I go. Just pray, keep at it, lay down your woes and, you know, connect with me in the comments. You know, if you've been feeling a little bit heavy, if you've been feeling like, you know, you got to let some stuff off and you want to connect and you need a friend, you need a companion, you need someone that understands, trust me, I do. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm getting it out, and that's why I'm being as transparent as I can be, because it's time for me, it's time for us to get out of these spaces and hold better spaces, hold space for other people when we can, hold space for ourselves, we need to uplift ourselves, uplift each other, and That's what I'm here to do. So, again, I thank you and I love you. If you've been following and supporting me in the midst of a post every (laughs) three to six to nine to 12 months, I appreciate you. Again, I thank you for your patience because, listen, I'm trying every day. There's a lot going on behind the scenes beyond the screens that I'm trying to incorporate to to give and to receive. So I thank you again. I guess that's enough for now. I'll see you in my next one, guys. <laughs>